I don't do the most, but I do a lot. I'ma make a toast, cause we still alive. No big, I feel like Pac. I shoot a shot. I'm coming so grateful that you can come and share some of your thoughts with us. Um, we get, uh, uh, if, if you After don't mind. Davenport, I'm sorry, I just wanted to say one thing. Thank you, I'm um, an agent slash broker, and I work on the commercial side, though not in the residential. And just thank you so much from me and our poll class. We really appreciated you coming here, especially this late in your day. I think you had a really good presentation and we're such a dynamic speaker. I think that it would be awesome if you could get licensed in Oregon and then teach our continuing education too. Like I'm due for my renewal this month and I'm just like, why can't she be my teacher? Boy, you know, it's hard to follow that, but <laughs> I'm gonna try. She I know, was so I, great. Yeah, yeah I, so too. I think I think yeah. I think she's phenomenal. She's doing the hard work. She's written a book on how to be anti-racist real estate. I mean, she's, she's like getting her, um, She's getting her own personal experiences with kind of the academic side of things integrated into her practice, which is really, really hard to do. And um, so I, I just wanted to give you all an opportunity. It doesn't fit into the trees and the urban ag and this kind of conversation, topical conversation we're having today. But this was the one time she could show up and I was like, uh, yes, let's do it. So I uh, wanted to find a way to get get her here. So glad you at least had a little chance to check in with her about this, um, about these topics. I'd love to keep keep kind of keep the conversation going about issues of equity um, and, and real estate and kind of structural processes. We're not talking about individual choices. We're talking about systems here. So I want to keep coming back to that. Um, this conversation is about what are, who are the, what are the voices we're not listening to when we're making these development decisions in urban areas. And um, Dr. Davenport made a very compelling argument, I thought, about what does it take to make uh, uh, bring folks who aren't necessarily at the table, who've been historically marginalized, to the table to do this uh, work in real estate. And I'm coming in hot.